Hello, hello, beautiful people. This is me. I'm your host. And in this little bag, I have my beauty trash empties for the month of January. So yes, there is a little bit of things. And also I have three items which are almost empty, but I decided to include them in this video. And that's what I'm going to start with. Let me just pick them up. First one, it's primer from Esther. That's their smaller universal perfecting primer. And let me open it. It has a, I don't know, it's like a clear gel. What it does, it fill up your pores, smooth up your skin and mattify. Yes, it is a nice product, but you can find something similar in drugstores. So you don't really have to overspend unless you do enjoy the brand or the nice looking package. Then from Nivea, Nivea, I have their cute and moisturizer with SPF 30. This thing is almost empty. Now, what does it, it doesn't, I cannot really read or speak in German, so I cannot tell you what it's supposed to do, but since it's Q10, I guarantee it's going to be anti-aging with SPF. It has a pleasant scent and because of the SPF, yes, I did enjoy it and I don't mind using it. I wish, should say repurchase. I wish I could buy it this up here, but fortunately it's not available here in the States. So the next time I'll be in Europe, definitely I'm going to take a look at the Nivea face, face range. And the last almost empty, it's from Garnier, that's their micellar water. This one is the waterproof version, all, all in one waterproof remove, removes makeup, even waterproof mascara, clean suits, no rinse, no harsh rubbing, face, lip, eyes all skin types it is a nice item i do enjoy it i see myself repurchasing this one in the future not at the moment because i still have few other products to go through but if you are, if you are on a lookup for affordable makeup remover this one is worth checking out and now let me get through the back finish it up the milani make it last setting spray Prime Correct Set. I use it as a setting spray and because it's a 6 ounces size, it did uh, last me for a long time, but I did enjoy it. And yes, I see myself rebuying this one in the future. Then Hand Soap from Okafers. Okafers, they started with their hand cream, then there were lip balms, uh, body product, or should say body lotion. And I was surprised when I found the hand... Uh, not hand cream, Fa not face soap, hand soap. This particular one is with oranges, with fresh orange oil, instantly lacks moisture, cleans, moisturizes with French or orange oil, 12 ounce. If you're familiar with the Dove liquid soap, this is something similar. So pretty much you use it, it feels good, but when you stop using it, you kind of, or, or I should say, or when you switch to something different, you're going to feel the difference. So yes, I did like it and definitely I'm going to rebuy it. Shampoo and conditioner from Cantu. That's their, uh, let's call it avocado line. Hydrating, gently clean softness with avocado and shea butter. That was shampoo and conditioner, moisture and softness. I did like it. The first time when I used it, I could really feel the difference and i do like it i already repurchase it oh by the way if i talk about the items in the past i'm gonna include a video so either i'm gonna link it up here or in the description box so you can easily get some more in-depth review couple items i should say a few items from soap and glory first is the the scrub of your life exfoliating Mandarin extract and exfoliating first for glowing skin. If you're familiar with the soap and glory sweet scent, that's how that's exactly how this one this one smells. First one, it's a scrub of your life. It has a typical soap and glory scent. What is it? It's a shower gel with little bits. I used this one in the past and I do like it. The 
oh we have the same thing then another shower gel but this one it's hydrating body wash so like this was more like a gel this was like a milky gel and as they as they claim no it will not dry your skin so there are times when i was in rush and i was only using this i just skipped the lotion and then i have their face wash face soap face soap and clarity vitamin c gentle wash clean smooth more than skin when it's full it's blue with a little bit so you get that let's call it manual exfoliation and i know i have another cleanser yeah here we go that's number seven radiance daily energizing exfoliant cleanser gently exfoliate to reveal inst instantly brighten skin yeah this is from their vitamin c line and it smell it has a citrusy scent however why i'm bringing this one up because let's say they're both exactly the same this is a gel with beads this is a gel with beads but this one it's yellow in color this is blue in fact soap and glow and number seven number seven then they're both owned by boots so i'm not gonna be surprised if they're using the same factory to make their items talking about vitamin c i have two more items number seven that's their 10 percent no radiance plus 15 percent vitamin c suitable for all skin types this is my repurchase i did have it in the past and enjoy it it's a liquid for oh check this one up vitamin c it's good for pigmentation or if you want to brighten up your skin i use vitamin c for many years and i do enjoy it and i'm glad that finally the let's call it more available brands they come up with their own versions because vitamin c is not really expensive so there is no point of you paying like 50 60 dollars for a bottle so yes i do like it i purchase and definitely recommend then from soap and glory it's the radiance boost mask with vitamin c for dull lackluster skin i have this one in the past and i did enjoy it one thing which i have to warn you it has a potent orange scent which can which can be nice in the evening when you need to wake up but as a hydrating mask yes it is nice serum tan from clinic moisture surge hydrating supercharger concentrate this is a most not moisturizer hydrating serum where it's full it's pink in color it has a nice jelly consistency i do like it i have it in the past will i approach it? not really because right now there are so many good looking no <laughs> when i report this not really maybe somewhere in the future but right now there are so many brands with which have their own hydrating products or should or i should say serums you don't really need to overspend but yes it is a nice item then from misha their super aqua snail line cleansing foam foaming cleanser remove sebum and surface area rich fine texture foam keeps skin moisturized after cleansing i do enjoy face foaming face washes and this one did not disappoint me and because of this name snail mucin it left your skin hydrated i have this one in the past maybe it's like my fifth or sixth tube and i do enjoy it yes i see myself buying in the future if i want to make order on the misha site Upper items from esta first is their eye cream advanced nail repair supercharge complex synchronized recovery it's a nice jelly form moisturizer i apply it first and then follow up with a regular moisturizer so technically it's like a let's call it eye serum and then the then their classic advanced nail repair the little brown bottle which i use it for years i enjoy it and it's one of those products which you can't really go wrong with it repairs your skin while you sleep and also hydrates and you, you just have to try it for yourself but the lotion from vaseline nourishing moisture 48 hour hydration high ultra hydrating lipids skin health for all previously i have 
huge lotion which I bought in Hawaii and it has a form of a gel and because it has a watery consist consistency it was easy to apply and that thing gets me spoiled like I do love the thick body butters but after I used that lotion it was hard for me to go back so this one was like a not like let's call it hybrid it's still liquid but it's not too thick it has nice pleasant scent it's not like overpowering it's kind of a fresh vaseline they have many good uh, body products which come in different consistencies but yes i do enjoy it and i want to dig deeper into their line because i know they have varieties there's one in a you know what i did in the past use the lotion but it comes in a goldish or brown bottle with a coconut butter or cocoa butter and yes i did like it. i think i even reported just two or three times and i'm sure there was something else which i don't remember but either way yes i did like it and definitely gonna rebuy it then from cause the baja two percent salicylic acid with niacinamide and this can sound familiar because Paula Cho Paula's Choice they have 2% salicylic acid as well this was a toner which comes with a pump this item was way cheaper than the Paula's Choice and also when I purchased it I yeah when I purchased it I bought few different items from this brand and so far I enjoy majority of them since then i already no since the last time i bought from them i know they bring up more items so definitely i want to dig deeper into that but if you don't want to spend money on paula's choice but you still want to go with salicylic acid which is great for combination oily skin or even for breakouts this is worth looking into it few items left and let me start with gold bone pure moisture daily body face lotion hyaluronic acid grapeseed oil this it's a small container i think i already have one of those in the past and even though it says for the face and body i use it as a lotion it was nice wasn't it wasn't greasy or heavy it's kind of in a consistency similar to this one it did it job then from garnier i have their foot cream garnier food for let's call it destroy skin with maple syrup the garnier the red garnier line it's wonderful especially if you have very dry skin unfortunately i cannot buy it here so when i'm transferring on the airports from in europe that's when i'm looking for it so far i tried their body lotion hand cream foot cream i'm sure they have something else but if you ever see the red line give it a go in in the states we do have garnier but it's more about hair care and yeah shampoo conditioner and uh, hair dyes i don't oh yeah and right now they have many different uh, micellar waters if you are on a lookout for garnier face products it's really tough in europe their variety it's very very big here not so much but going back yes i do like it and it was i'm not going to call it a thick cream it was a little bit heavier perfectly clean multi-action cream cleanser there is cleanser with the same name except it's a foaming cleanser so this is the same thing except it's a cream cleanser and i'm glad those were the small sizes because i prefer the foaming one but if you're more into the creamy cleanser uh this one is not bad then hand cream from where is the brand name here we go from this brand i bought this in a three pack so this particular one it's with orange cinnamon orange 20 percent shea butter head cream made in france so i it was orange i have one with a 
in a pink tube which smells like roses and there is one more in a blue tube but overall it was a nice thick cream which i apply at the end because of the shea butter it did provide hydration smart serum from clinique i don't know if it's smart maybe if i will read a little bit about it i was la layering this in between my steps uh it was okay similarly with the number seven serum perfect protect and perfect intense advanced serum suitable for sensitive skin i used it up i didn't see any miracles especially that this was a small sample size antioxidant serum from avin because it's with the antioxidants i use it as a hydrating serum and it has a form of a yeah it was like a milky serum form will i report just possible because i do enjoy avin but i like their hydrating serum a milky hydrating serum which i went through many battles and that one is wonderful since this one is with antioxidants i will have to give it a try for the full size sample of the eye cream from bioderma that's the bio sensibio I, that's the sensibio line which is designed for sensitive skin it was a simple eye cream it was a yeah eye contour gel sensitive skin anti-puffiness I'm not sure about the, item, about the puffiness part, but it was a gel eye cream. Confidence in a cream moisturizer. And it has a kind of a scent, but it's manageable. All skin type, all skin types. Transforming moisturizing super cream, anti-aging, rejuvenating concentrate. I use this one at night. Uh... It was all right. I used as a last step to seal everything else. Well, I report just not really. If I receive a sample, yes, I will use it up. Next one, it's a gloss from CoverGirl. That's their clean, fresh, yummy gloss. And yes, I still have a little bit left inside. Comes with a big doll foot. And yeah, I'm sure you can see some stuff. However, oh, smells smells really good and tastes good as well you can easily eat it why this product isn't here because there were times when i forgot to take out out of my packet and it got washed and afterwards end up in a dryer like this part used to be flat as you see it's rounded why because of the drying process however one one nice thing after the washes and at least three times being in a dryer it still survived it didn't blow up so it does has my approval even though it looks i know reddish when you apply it the color it just disappears so you're gonna have that nice sheen and nice smelling gloss smell like candies anyway let's just move on to the last two items which are the hand Hand mask, yeah, hand mask. So I have one from Avin, one from Earth Therapeutics. They work exactly the same. You have a set of gloves which you're gonna put on your hands and then keep them for like from 15 to 20 minutes. And when you take them off your hands, the skin on your hands is gonna be really nice, smooth, hydrated. It's one of those things which you wanna do it when your hands need some help. If you have event coming up and it would not look nice and pretty including your hands i do enjoy hand products and in the past i have i use multiple of those and i th think i have one or one or two of this left in my stash but overall yes they are worth looking into it this brings me to the end of the video and i see you next time <laughs> bye